What's up YouTube, it's Foo Noodle. In the last episode I whoppamped this thing over here and if I'm not mistaken there's another fuse down here so I'll probably need to whoppam something else. When I whoppamp the third thing I should be able to cross the big metal door and go deeper into the dungeon. But where is the third whoppam? That is the question. Oh, and there might be even more because there's another one over here. Hmm. No? Meh. This is where I came from. already fixed. Where is it? I already did this. Oh, oh, come over here. I did warn you guys, I did tell you that walking in circles is completely my thing. So yeah, that's gonna be happening a little more. Come on! Jesus. No. Ah, here it is. Come. This way, probably. Yes, this way. What's over here? Follow us, Papa. We know the way. I'm coming. Meh. Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? I wonder what the kid got in his eyes. Maybe oil or something? I told you he'd come. Yes, of course. As any good father would do. Just gonna keep you with me. No, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna put you down right here where I can find you. And next part. 
The collar, the neck, the nose. Two cups of flour, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, a handful of mints, a bay leaf, a herb, a skeleton key for the nursery, and a mixing will go together. Hey, the phone. Funur, what's up? Very mysterious. Bam. Hello. Whoa. I prefer the baby music from before. This creeps me out. Shut up! Fucking shut up! Come on. Yes, that one. In America, they talk of buildings their cities to the skies. To me this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories, they are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this, they talked of how, when building the underground trains, they wouldn't often come across all their tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architect tells me, there's a great iron ball. It is the edge of the world. The egg of the world. Hey, didn't my kids say something about finding an egg earlier? A stone egg? Bleh. That's messed up. Can I take them? No, too bad. Click. More stuffs. Yes. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own gods? I have seen these things and I will tell you now. No, no they will not. But they will happily accept Felthy to a god thrust upon them and worship it is thus given. In this I realized they are no different than the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we are too shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross the great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. I think he was talking about pigs there. It's uh, just a hunch. My shirt. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative in feet to subdue to protect even before the initiation of the process. This means that we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage the machine components, other products or themselves. This section of the belt is shedded in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further smooth the product. We found the buzzy particularly effective in, the in this regard. Was that uh, the creepy ass music from before? The buzzy? Warning, fueling pumps, volatile chemicals are in use, these materials are highly corrosive, wear protection. Well, let me just find a condom then. 
strap that thing all over my body. Piggies. They never stood a chance. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It's every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex. Yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach and continue on my path. It seems this chemical processor is merely one of a much larger complex. No ease route. No easy route for me then. I will follow my fever, the calls of my children, wherever they may lead me, as I move further into the strange empire. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage. It's somewhat repetitive. The stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store, it's not defining a feature of the flood that threatens my children. Okay. Opa. What's the music doing? Something about to happen? Hello? Now, what's in here? Some kind of fuel can? Do I need this? Chemical transportation, danger, highly corrosive, highly flammable. Chemical transportation. So I need to put chemicals in here? I'm thinking. Anyway, I think this is a wonderful place to stop it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like me to play next. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.